Hello everybody and welcome back to day 28 of the summer vlog series. Today I'm going to be giving you a Harry Potter haul. Some of these things are going to be things that I've purchased myself, some of these things are going to be items that I was given by other people. So if you want to see what's in the collection then keep watching and I'm going to stop rambling. Let's go. First thing that I want to show you is actually in this Gryffindor bag. Now inside this bag is a bunch of Harry Potter items that my lovely friend Victoria, you may know her as Queen Niffler, um, gifted me when we went to the Harry Potter studio tour in June. They weren't gifted in this bag, I've just put them in this bag um, because the paper bag they came in accidentally ripped. It was just a plain paper bag um, but it accidentally ripped so I wanted somewhere to be able to keep them until I film this video so I put them in here. I have sort of looked a little bit but I haven't gone too much in depth with looking just because I wanted to be able to show you guys guys first. Thank you so much Victoria, genuinely I really appreciate it and you didn't have to and just thank you so so much. I'm so excited to see what I've got. I think I've got says Ollivander's Diagonally London. Oh my goodness and I've got a Harry Potter ones necklace. Look at this. I don't know if I've actually seen them in this box before which is so lovely. I really like the little box it comes in and it really does look like it is an Ollivander's box and it'll be really nice because there's a little bit inside where you could take it out of this and put it in and display it. I had to take it out of the packet just because it doesn't want to focus inside the packet. How lovely is that? I adore that and I cannot wait to display that um, and wear that out. The next item is another one of the necklaces and again I'm just going to take it out of the, po out of the packet for you. Um, this again it comes in this box which is lovely. This time we've got Lord Voldemort's necklace. And I just love the attention to detail. I don't think I've seen these wand necklaces before. And if I have, it wasn't in this packaging. So I really do think this packaging is lovely. Especially the box. And this will be great to use for um, my Deaf Eaters in Training Harry Potter account that I've got with Jenny. And I think that would just work so well as part of um, some TikToks and some Reels. The next item that is in here is, again, another one of those. This time we've got Professor Dumbledore's wand necklace here is professor dumbledore's wand which is lovely and i just think the attention to detail is fabulous and i'm not sure how long they are it doesn't say but they do look like they are going to be fairly long necklaces in fact i am just going to take this one off because i do want to see how long that necklace is because look how long that chain is like that chain is so long. This is my little 1989 necklace. Obviously it's not that long, but let's try this one. Oh my goodness, it is literally so long. So let's see if I can show you. So this necklace comes on a really, really long chain. And I love it because you can kind of like, I know this isn't Voldemort's one, but imagine it was. You can be like, Whoa, do, do, do. yeah, I know, I'm childish. But I love that. These are such a lovely idea and I do really appreciate um, being gifted these. Thank you so much, Victoria. Because honestly, I just couldn't believe it when um, you gave us those bags. And look how lovely it is. Obviously, I'm going to try and put it in properly later. But look, they sit so beautifully in there. And I love the boxes, especially with the gold foiling. But also, this is also made by the carrot shop. So this must be what they come in. They're so lovely. Okay, so I think this one's going to be item number four, which is... Oh, is these Harry Potter? I think I might need to get um, a battery for it. But this is those Harry Potter watches. Um, I think these... I think this is the Chibli style, but this has got a blue strap on it. And it's a Dumbledore watch. I'm not sure why my camera is deciding not to focus today. And it is digital. And that is so cute. I really like that. Ne the next item is... Oh, I have heard about this one because my mum has one. Um, Victoria's also really kind and gave one to my mum. And, well, she gave a bag to every single person that went to our Harry Potter tour meetup. And this one is a pencil case, which I believe... Um, I did get told how to do this and I do know how to do it. I've just got to remember how I do it. I believe that this... So it looks like this before I put it together. It looks like that and it's got these little like bits that you pop and I'm pretty sure that I just pushed these through the first time. It's meant to slot in like that and then this goes on the bottom I believe and then this fits on the top 
and then look at this i have no idea why my camera will not focus today i'm so sorry so it goes like this And then what you can do is you can put pencils in it. So this is actually from a previous class. But basically, you just... I'm just going to grab some random pens and pencils. You have a nice little pencil pot. These are the most random pens and pencils that I've got in here. Um, but yeah, it's just so cute and I love it. And I think... Because I actually have like five, five or six... Um, pencil cases just filled to the top so i think i'm gonna find all my harry potter stationery and i'm gonna put it in this pot and then this can sit on my desk Get another item and i really really like that one that is so useful i think these are cufflinks I have some golden snitch what i believe are, they're either earrings or cufflinks i'm gonna have a look in a second they're cufflinks because they've got the cufflinks back and they are just so cute. I might even wear these on back to Hogwarts because I'm going to be going in my Harry Potter Gryffindor um, uniform. And sneak peek, if you follow mine and Jenna's account, you've probably already seen it. But I will be going back to Hogwarts with a dark mark this year. Um, so definitely go watch that because I haven't put out me getting the dark mark yet, like a sneak peek type video. So that will be coming up in the next few weeks. Um, hopefully within the next like two weeks hoping to plan to put that out but um yeah so i could wear these if i wanted to with my hogwarts uniform i love those and it's got this lovely little harry potter box which is so cute this is also from the carrot shop so i'm wondering if a lot of this have all come from the same place but i'm not entirely sure the next thing i've got is this really cute little ron weasley necklace which is honestly just so adorable. Um, and every time I see Ron Weasley, I just think, Ron Weasley! If you know, you know. But it is, again, the Chibli style Ron Weasley necklace from the character shop. And you've probably seen these around. I don't think they're on this backing. I think they're on, like, a white backing. Or at least I've seen them on a white backing that says Harry Potter on it. But that's lovely. I really like that. I've also got a, another watch, which is Luna Lovegood. Now, I love Luna Lovegood. I feel like we all have a bit of Luna Lovegood in us. We're all just, you know, we all have something that we're a little bit crazy about. Mine happens to be Harry Potter and Disney and uh, Taylor Swift. But we've got this lovely, lovely, beautiful pink watch with Luna Lovegood on it. And I just really want a pair of Spectra Specs. One day I'm going to get a pair. Another item. I can't believe how many items are in here. Honestly, Victoria, you've absolutely spoiled us. Thank you so much. Um, another item in here, which I can't seem to get out, is a pair of nine and three quarter cufflinks. Okay, I think I'm going to wear these ones on back to Hogwarts just because I feel like it's so fitting. So we've got these nine and three quarters cufflinks. I'm going to assume these are also cufflinks. They are, just because they're in the same box. And I'm definitely going to wear those on the on the first. So look out for those in my video. I genuinely can't thank Victoria enough for the kind and generosity of the gifts that she's given us. But also for being such a wonderful friend. Like, thank you so much. Us Gryffindors, we need to stick together. Because these Slytherins are going to be coming at us this back to Hogwarts. So, yep, I'm so excited for that. We're going to have so much fun. And I can't wait for the content that we are planning a key ring which i think i'm going to put onto my keys well i mean obviously i'm going to put it on my keys because it's a key ring but it's mr draco malfoy this key ring you can either obviously slide onto your keys or you can hook it onto something you could either use it as a um charm for your bags you could have it as a charm on your lounge fly you could have it really hook it onto really anything onto a lanyard in fact i might actually do that i might actually put him onto one of my lounge flies i think he would look really cute hooked onto my lounge fly so that's really lovely but it's another pair of cufflinks which will go so well with my definitely whoops with my definitely hallows necklace which is something that i bought from timu a while ago um it's some Deathly Hallows cufflinks. I love these. I've never really used cufflinks before, but I think these would be really nice. And actually, I think that they would look really nice on 
um, like my dad's formal shirts and stuff like that. Not that he wears formal shirts very often, but I think they would look lovely. The last thing is a bag that consisted of lots of different items and it's got these slider charms. I've been looking at getting these slider charms for quite a while, but I never actually managed to get around to them. So I've got a Ron Weasley one. I've got a Draco Malfoy one. I have to admit Draco Malfoy is actually kind of like adorable in these little charms. But I think it's quite funny that you can't really see his eyebrows. I have got a Hagrid one. And we all love Hagrid. And then I've also got in there these necklaces. So I'm guessing you can probably slide the charms off of these necklaces and um, put the other ones on. But I have got a Hagrid necklace. I have got a Draco Malfoy necklace. She must know how much I love Draco because... There's lots of Draco things in here. And this feather one, which I think is so lovely. And this will also be so good to use with my cosplays. And a feather necklace. But there was also two more keyrings I hadn't seen before. So I have a Ron keyring. And the Hagrid keyring and the Hagrid necklace will go so nice with my groundskeeper assistant top from um, the wizarding trunk. But that was everything that was given by Victoria. And again, I think I've said this several times, but thank you so, so much. I genuinely appreciate it so much. And I just love all of the items. I cannot wait to start using them, wearing them. And I'm really excited to see you at Back to Hogwarts. We're going to have so much fun. As I said, us Gryffindors need to sit together. The next thing I wanted to show you is something that I bought off of Vinted. Now, I spend way too much money on Vinted. I do sell things on Vinted, so I have got a couple of children's um, Harry Potter robes left on there. If you want to go and have a look, I've got them at a really heavily discounted price. Um, I've got loads of, like, other Harry Potter items that I've just never used. So if you would like to go and have a look, then I will link that down below um, because there are a bunch of Harry Potter items. I think there might be a couple of Disney items and some clothing that I'm selling. But the next thing I want to show you, wherever I put it, I bought this on Vinted. It was, I think, £25. I have been wanting one of these for so long. And Jenny and I both decided to find some on Vinted and pick them up. But I um, got this little trunk and luckily it had no initials on it. Although I have been told and I have read reviews that said that the initials can be peeled off because they're just vinyl. And as I have a cricket, I may one day put some vinyl on the side. But for now I'm just keeping it like this. And this is the mini Hogwarts trunk, which is normally I think about £45 on the website and the large one's 65 I would like to get the large one at some point, but for now I'm just got the little one but i love it because you can put so much in it i have actually got stuff in it so let me just take the stuff i've got in it out i did get this i bought this off of vintage too because basically my official harry potter tire has come undone with the threads and um because i needed a tie at the time i just really quickly got one of these but now i've got the thread to be able to fix this one it's all come out and i'm kind of got it holding to get holding together with a once upon a time badge um, but I got this off there for a pound. So if you can't afford the official Harry Potter stuff, then definitely go and check out Vintage because people sell the official stuff and they sell, like, I don't think this is an official tie, but for a pound, honestly, I wasn't too bothered because it just meant I could have another one. Make sure before you buy anything, you read the reviews just because although Vintage do have buy protection, you obviously want to make sure that you're covered. Look at the reviews, really read them. Because In here, I've also got um, some I must not tell lies. Um fake tattoos which i'm going to be using for mine and jenny's instagram account i've also got this like tom riddle um orphanage tin thank you so much cat for sending me the link to this cat is lego luna make sure you check her out i'll link her below she actually sent me uh the link to this so that i could get one i keep my dark marks in it that i use for my instagram and tiktok page that is definitely is in training i've got this because I didn't have a Gryffindor one, so I bought a Slytherin one. Because I kind of feel like I'm now becoming a Slytherin. I hang out with too many Slytherins, and now I'm Slytherin. No, in a good way. Slytherins are good, guys. I have lots of Slytherin friends, and they are all amazing. I've also got this very cheap, just like, replica um, locket. Basically, it's just good for cosplay, and it's good for content creation. Because, you know, if you spend a lot of money on one and it breaks, you'll be really upset. Whereas this one... Honestly, if it breaks, it breaks. It was only a couple of pounds. I can buy a new one. So I've obviously got all that in there. This 
is the inside of the trunk. Now, obviously, it is only the baby trunk, but you can get a lot in there. I've got, like, my Marauder's map. My wand doesn't fit in it. The only ones that fit in it, so this one, which is the one that I use for a lot of my cosplay, unfortunately, doesn't fit. I think are up here. If you have, like, the pen ones, they fit in here, but the actual ones, unfortunately, don't. Um, but I've had my Marauder's map. I've had all of that in there. I've had my headband. You can actually get a fair amount in here. And I will show you what you can get in here on the 31st when I am packing for Hogwarts. It would be the 31st or the 1st, but probably the 31st. So yeah, that was a recent purchase and I do absolutely adore that. What else have I bought recently? I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I've bought... Um, my time turner wand which i'm not going to get down in case i break it i bought these galleons when i went out in fact i will get my time turner wand down for you unfortunately i've put the lid down somewhere so i need to find the lid but i got this in june i'm not sure if i showed you it but look at it oh, i'm so in love with the time turner wand and of course i put my little time turner this is from kellyak i think it's how you pronounce it um, so I had to put the time turner necklace with the time turner wand. I got this from the works for three pounds. It's a Harry Potter Weasley joke book, and I absolutely adore it. It's just got the most ridiculous jokes in it, and one day I'll do a video going through that. I don't know if I ever showed you, but when I was in America, I bought the puking pastels. Um, I haven't opened them. They're they're out of date now but I just wanted to keep them on display. And I bought jelly slugs because I hadn't seen these in the UK and these are out of date as well, but you know, I'm not gonna eat them. Oh, we also got, I got this in the airport in Florida. It had butter beer sweets in it, which I think my mum ate because I bought them for my mum and now I'm just, I just have it on the side. I got this pen from Jenny. I'm pretty sure she got me this for my birthday. It's like a little quill pen, which we use. Kat was super duper kind and a while ago she had one of these um she had duplicates of this and of this and she gave them to me as part of i think my christmas present because i didn't have them so thank you so much cat i've also got a load of other like random stuff on here oops which you guys obviously have probably seen me unbox like i've got a sword of gryffindor necklace I have got, um, oh, this one I wanted to show you. I've got two more things which were kindly gifted to me by my friends. I have really, really generous friends and I keep telling them off for like gifting me stuff and buying me stuff. Um, but I've got, I actually got this one because I've got this poster and I got this one from Jenny because she had them and she had nowhere to display them and she was just going to throw them away and she said she, I might as well have them I need to find a really big um frame for them but I also think this will come in really handy when I want to film some content dark mark sweet up there I bought the dark mark the little death eater um oh I got this in America if you spent 300 if you bought a 300 pound gift card you got a free wand so I got this little let me try and show you i got this death eater wand which i just adore but i do want to do a like harry potter collection my favorite things in collection my collection video so i don't want to show you every single thing i own uh, at this precise minute and also this video has been going on for ages so i'm gonna leave it there Thank you so much to everybody who has given me things. I would just like to say that these things have been gifted to me over a period of time. And I've just kind of sat down and I wanted to show you them all. Um, but yeah, I love my friends so much. Thank you so much for gifting me these items. Thank you so much for just being the best friends and always being there for me when I need you. And I will always be there for you when you need me. And I love you so much. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Comment down below your favourite item that you own or something that is on your bucket list that you would really love to own one day. If you would like to see more videos, especially Harry Potter, Disney and travel, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so you are notified every single time I upload. And if you want to see any more of my videos, please click here. I hope you're having the most magical day and I'll see you soon. Bye!